All right, guys, so here we are again. We're on the second segment of the Cisco Firewall Teach to Fish. In this segment, it's concerned with your points of contact. Now, they're very important, whether you're talking to a partner or Cisco, but I can only enlighten you on one side, and that would be the Cisco points of contact. Now, you still might be able to talk to Cisco points of contact, even if you're working through a partner. We assist them as well, but it's less likely. So let's get right to it here. This is the Cisco Firewall Teach to Fish, the initial engineering and architecture and implementation presentation. So this has to do with everything you do up front, points of contact. So when you look at a customer account from the Cisco point of view, uh, we service customers. So say you are a customer one as shown in the diagram here. Your first layer of interaction with Cisco will be through what's called the account managers. And these are the guys that are responsible for anything and everything, literally everything that you do with Cisco. Get familiar with them, they are very helpful. And they can be your, your central focus point for getting access to the other contexts that might be useful within other specific domains. Now they are the salesy type side guys, the account managers. They do not sit there and talk to you in detail, in depth about the products and or designs, but their generalist technical solutions architect are the technical salesy guys. So when you need to talk about a design or potential solution, they're the first ones you'll get put in contact with when you start asking questions. Now, if your questions are pretty in detail, and this isn't just a simple renewal or, or exercise that you've been through before, they'll likely refer you next point down the line, which will be with our domain specialists. So there's security, there's collab, there's route switch, there's a whole bunch of other domains underneath Cisco in which our product lines are diversified or specialized. So in this case, we're gonna take the security example since we are talking about the firewall teach to fish. When you look at the next layer of coverage, the firewall specialists, we tend to be what's called an overlay inside of Cisco, which means we do specialize on a smaller subset of products, i.e. security. However, we also are a shared resource among multiple customers. That doesn't really mean you get less attention. It just means we have a lot of people to talk to at any given time because we are leveraged less since the general technical solutions architect foots most of the upfront work. So within our layer, we also have a security technical solutions architect. It's like that generalist we talked about earlier, except we know the security products very well. So we're supposed to be like a mile wide, but an inch deep. And then we have our salesy side guys, kind of like the account manager called cybersecurity specialist, CSS. They are the ones that are gonna to talk to you and be like, oh, you need to chat about firepower? Let me put you in touch with the technical solutions architect on Wednesday at 10 p.m. with a WebEx because we're Cisco, we use WebEx, not Zoom. But anyways, we cover all of these products. Uh, we are fairly deep. Now it's not to say that none of us are deep across most domains or that some guys might not have cross-pollination into other domains. It just means it's less likely. Um, so then we come one step further, all right? We've got our security layer here, and this is where most of the service layers stop. But there are a few products that actually have specialists that are only for that single product. So within the security domain, there's Umbrella, Duo, Stealthwatch, Firepower, or Security Network Analytics as it's called now, ASA, there's quite a few, right? But then we have some further overlays that specialize in just that single Umbrella product, for example. And they're structured the exact same way. A uh, cybersecurity specialist who is responsible only for that product. They are the salesy front end or the figurehead. And then they are the ones responsible for building and connecting you to the security TSA who specializes in just that product. And these people are truly supposed to be a mile deep, but an inch wide. They literally cover one product, but they do it for maybe 10, 20 customers instead of just one, two, or three. So these guys are even more specialized in, sense, in the sense of a product coverage, but less so in the sense of customer coverage. So let's turn it around and look at it from your point of view. You're the customer, something goes wrong. We've got this layered approach model for providing you support to figure out what you wanna buy and then buying it. If you have some problems, we also have what's called a high touch operations manager, HTOM. And they are specialized for customer care and take care of answering all your questions. Hey, I can't reach this license. I can't get this software, uh, whatever. There's a whole bunch of things you can reach out to them and they are the first belly button for, hey, I need help. 
Now, who are they for you specifically? I'll get into that when I'm briefing specific customers. But again, this is just a general overview. Lastly, let's look at it from your point of view. You're a customer, instead of the Cisco point of view, you're a customer, you've got an account level coverage, which covers everything, hence the large blue bar. They have a general account manager and a generalist TSA and your HTOM. They provide you frontline support. Next is portfolio level, in this case, security. We provide you coverage for just security products. There is a front end sales person and a front end sales technical guy. And then there's the product level, say umbrella. They have a front end sales person for umbrella and then a front end technical guy for just umbrella. That's it. That's how your POCs at Cisco work. Now, you'll get familiar with who your actual named POCs are, right? This changes based on if you're a federal customer or a commercial customer, if you're large, if you're small, there's a billion things that change who, whose names go by these labels, but these labels will exist as of 2022 for each of these levels. That's it guys. Hope you had a good one. We'll see you in a little bit.